What is the crack lads and welcome back to another episode and we're going to be starting with this squad so we are going to be mixing it and towards the end of this video we will be purchasing the AC Milan pack and uh, a lot of people have been asking me to do that and do a review of kind of the whole pack playing with them and you know doing division matches with them so we are in the eFootball league this is the squad that we are going to be using we are going to be reviewing Anthony as well a player review is going to be coming out on the channel so keep an eye out for that a lot of people asking me about that um to get anthony out now he is boosted up to the nines we do have him everything will be covered in the player review for him we recently did christopher nakunku who's obviously on the bench today um but anthony is c form everybody else on the squad is a or b we have got a really strong bench as well and we're going to be testing out maximin as well who looks absolutely incredible look at his stats man 93 dribble and 93 speed 95 acceleration and 93 balance so he is going to be somebody that i look to bring in off the bench he does only have standard form but all right let's so we're back and we're into a match and i think from looking at this guy he doesn't have the best squads we're going to, going to have a look so he has got a fairly decent start in 11 but his team strength is obviously going to be way down on where mine is and he also has 76 team play style but i haven't actually sat down and played it uh, in a while so hopefully it, it it stays okay i mean the last couple of episodes that i recorded were recorded thursday um last thursday so obviously the game was just updated and stuff so uh i did think that it was very very good but i've heard mixed about different things uh about different you know issues with it that it's kind of reverted back to a lot of issues in it but yeah i mean let's see and it's going to be very hard to judge on like two or three games but we'll see what happens i mean i, I think you can get a, a good feel for the game within within a couple of minutes if you know what you're kind of looking for if that makes sense so I'm going to try play wings as I always seem to do. Oh, man. Pereira. Butchering to me. Come on, Davies. Get things going. Lucas Diaz. The dribbling has been one thing that I've heard has really reduced. Oh, that's a terrible pass. I didn't mean that. Oh, man. Those blind passes are killer, aren't they? Get back. Pogba. Bust him off the ball. Now we've got space for Anthony. It's a great ball. Overlap, beautiful. Anthony with some wicked play. Ah, oh, bad pass. That was a terrible pass for me, lads. I'm rusty. It's a great ball. Anthony's on it like a flash. Oh, bad touch from Anthony. All right, Anthony, what are you at there? What's he doing, man? He just stands up looking at it. Lord Van Dyke. Van Dyke's looking solid, lads. Diaz. Touch and go, see if this guy is going to give me the wings a little bit more. Looks like he is. Anthony. Stay running, Anthony. Oh, super. Who's in there? Romario. Oh, ref, come on. That's definitely a peno. Oh, brilliant tackle. Up a Meccano. What a beast this guy is. <sighs> Pepe. And Pepe features in a video that I'm doing, lads, a, a squad builder. He, he's an absolute beast, especially since the update when they've really updated the defensive side of the game. This guy's trying to play a bit of ball now. We'll see if we can stop him. If we get a goal, we'll probably punish him a lot. That's a brilliant tackle. Oh, man, see, that that's killer now, that is. That's killer. How does he get knocked to the ground, get back up, and dispossess me before I have a chance to clear it? Come on, man. Sort that, that stuff out. I hate that sort of stuff, like. Oh, man. Get it out. <sighs> Lads, that is torturous. And to me, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Oh, and then he gets back with Ricardo. Oh, Anthony! Pedri 1-0 it's a lucky goal lads I probably don't really deserve it but we'll take it bit of hassle from Anthony there we'll take it we probably didn't deserve that goal but it's good hassling good hustle oh the overlap get up Anthony he's looking like a bit of a baller lads this guy Anthony he's got great feet can he pass oh Romario, it's two. We get two lucky, lucky, lucky intercepted goals. 
But the game just doesn't feel flowy, man. It just doesn't feel like I've got full control of everything going on, which is a pity because I think that it was in a really good place when the game first launched and it seems to have just gotten a little bit chaotic. Like, I've no doubt that this guy's team is suffering more so than me actually beating him. And, and I can see it. You know, it's not just when you're winning games that it's everything's rosy. Um, this guy isn't a bad player at all, but I'm just getting the breaks because my team is very, very strong. Um, but even saying that, like, I can't really break him down. You know what I mean? It's weird. Oh, Anthony, beautiful feet. Oh, ref. Bullet. There we go. It's three. It's an easy, easy flicky for Romario, but... I feel like that should have been a penalty there, lads. I feel like that should have been a free on Anthony there. Brilliant tackle. Ruben Diaz, lads, looks to be the real deal. I'm getting so much space on the wing. Anthony, left foot finish, bottom corner. I tell you, lads, Anthony is a perfect right winger with that left foot with the finesse shots. He actually looks really decent. Very impressed with him. Very impressed with him. But I'm getting so much space on the wings. This guy is not really defending the wings at all. I'm getting acres of room. Oh, I should have taken my time with that. But I do like Anthony, lads. I definitely recommend him. Result there. Um, I'm going to turn off my camera a sec just to get some screenshots for thumbnails and stuff. But I just do feel, lads, sometimes that, like, there's probably no, like, to me, because there's no filter system, there's no real point in playing like a two-star, three-star team. You know what I mean? Unless, well, for me especially, because I, I literally, like, I only play whatever you see on this uh, series is what I play. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, um, you know, I don't play a lot of the game uh, unless I'm recording it. You know what I mean? Now, I do a lot of content. I might play 10 matches, quick online matches to get a player review. I need a bit of pace because Davies will cover a lot there. Let's see this guy's team, lads. I think he's a good squad. 4-2-1-3, Modric, Camavinga, Rudiger, Bastoni, Hernandez. So he's got a fairly uh, meta squad, you would imagine. This is the meta formation, uh, realistically, 4-3-3. Uh, and it's obviously what everyone is playing. But I'm going to just do one little individual tactic here, which will be a man-marking job because I want Makalele to stay back. Yeah, I mean, gameplay feels smooth. Like, I'm not worried too much about the actual, like, gameplay. Uh, in terms of you know the responsiveness and stuff it does feel smooth um but i think that the it's just the actual game itself i just think it's in a it's in a weird kind of position at the moment because well it's a super ball i do feel that the game is slightly like dumbed down towards the i don't even know how to describe it just feels like there's less kind of freedom on the ball that's just my opinion on it i think it's it kind of since the last patch there is, in my opinion, less kind of freedom on the ball, as in you're able to... That's good play, though. Take that. It's a great ball! Oof, it's too close to the keeper. I just feel like there's less freedom, lads. That's genuinely what it is. I think there's less freedom on the ball. I think they've dumbed down a lot of the actual physical battles because it just seems to be run into the man, you know, and, and that's, that's how you defend now. You know, it's just like you just run into the man or else run into space and wait for the AI to to defend for you. Like, I just think it needs to be a bit of a skill gap, in my opinion. If you want to be a lasting kind of game, there needs to be a skill gap there. Although this is nice play. Oh, Romario. The space. Pedri. Oh. Get it in, Kimmy. Oh, too slow, Kimmy. It's a good start, though. See what I mean? It's just, it's like rugby, man. He just runs in. You know what I mean? It's like that's the type of style now that is rewarded. And it just doesn't suit me. See what I mean? It's just running into me. It's frustrating. It's frustrating. It's frustrating. That's just the way I look at it now. It just seems very, very, very dumbed down and simplified. It's just run in and intercepted it's good play though Anthony what a finish he's beautiful on that left flank lads I tell you I'm enjoying playing with Anthony he's definitely one of the best players that, uh, that I've played with recently as a, just an out and out winger but again it's a mistake it's an unforced error that gives me the goal rather than my, my good play and he's going to go this guy's going to go sweaty spammy 
Look at that. Oh. Yeah, it's an equaliser. Is he on? I think he is. It's a lucky enough goal. Couldn't do anything really about it. They, they like to play beautiful football when they're up 2-3-0, when they can do tricks and flicks and, and showboat. But like the majority of people don't want to win pretty. They want to win at, at, at any means possible because it's online. You know, that's what online game gaming is all about. Let's be honest. And that's not, you know, that's not a bad thing or anything. That's just the truth. Oh man, it's so annoying. Last ditch tackles from the AI, like, come on. Oh, I can see it. Can I stop it though? I can. All right, lads, so the, the front three are, the front three are all off. Even though Anthony was playing brilliant, I have brought on super sub Haaland. I left Marquinhos on, I was going to bring him off, but get it out. Oh, it's great header. It's great set piece, Bastoni. It might. No Neymar. Oh, it's a brilliant tackle. I was trying to pop it, but I decided to not. Ah, it's a disappointing result, lads. Disappointing result, but we held on for the draw. We will take the point against a difficult enough opponent, but... I am going to leave it up to you guys whether I should buy an Inter Milan pack or the AC Milan pack. I had in my head I would do an AC Milan past and present, but I could just as equally do an Inter Milan past and present, and I'd have different options and different players to choose from. So let me guys, or let me know, let me know what you guys want, and uh, we will start the next episode with buying one of these packs and then using this squad in Division 6 as we march up the table, hopefully, and up to Division. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Big giveaway coming at 20,000 subs if we hit that. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.